Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Spider Cafe, a place for creepy crawly talk and macro photography. And today we're gonna be uh, talking a little bit about tarantula molting. One of our larger tarantulas uh, recently molted uh, from Apelma Calcodes and I was able to record it on a camera, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh... <laughs> So pretty bizarre, huh? pretty crazy. And uh, I found even the, like the craziest part is that they actually do it on their back. You know, you would think like if you see that spider somewhere in the nature that it's basically past, you know, but nope, they're just basically molting. So it was pretty amazing. It was shot uh, initially uh, as a time lapse, uh, pictures every 30 seconds until he basically got uh, on its side and then the pictures went up every 10 seconds and then I put it together in an iMovie and I just sped it up uh, by 8. It was pretty amazing to watch. Tarantulas need to mold in order to grow. So basically uh, their exoskeleton, the outer, outer layer, doesn't stretch. So every time they uh, grow, uh, they need to change it. Part of their growing process is also growing another exoskeleton underneath of the, the one that already, the already existing one. And when it comes to molting time, they actually push liquids between those two and the outer layer breaks and they basically come out of it as a newer, larger uh, tarantula with a larger exoskeleton that they can fill. And usually this is their most vulnerable moment in their lives because they are uh, very soft and they can't really defend themselves. Their fangs are very soft. They would break if they would try to bite anything and they basically just vulnerable, just lying there waiting for them to harden. So we waited for a couple of days our tarantula blondie moved away from the mold I was able to use my tongs and pull it out and I used some hot water warm water actually with a little bit of a soap to unwrap its uh, abdomen because we uh, need to get to the area we need to see the area between its lungs and tarantula exoskeleton is actually waterproof so the water wouldn't penetrate the uh, exoskeleton so we use a little bit of a soap and that helps us to make it softer and then you can either use uh, if you're really careful your fingers or you can use q-tips I use combination of both basically to do this now looks something like this it's pretty good for uh, sexing purposes 
and I was also able to unwrap uh, the smaller one and uh, it's actually kind of stuck right down to the board so I don't want to break it so we got them sex and it's a boy twice so that's kind of uh, a little unfortunate because usually the females are more desired in a hobby than uh, the males but you know it is what it is all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe hit the notifications button and the like button if you like the video and i hope to see you soon all right ciao